Hey guys, how you doing? I hope you're good. I'm Thomas, this is Tech Productions, and you are watching my top 5 most wanted LEGO Star Wars mocks. With Mocktober upon us, and the endless amounts of insanely awesome mocks out there, I thought it'd be cool to take a look at some of the Star Wars builds that I'm desperate to add to my collection. Kicking off the list at number 5 is a big old boy. It's Cave Gods UCS Upsilon, or to you and me, Kylo Ren Shuttle. This 6 foot wide behemoth of black beauty is just incredible. The mock consists of 5,789 parts, which is just crazy, and by far the largest footprint wise on this list. Ever since watching Rich Boy J's video on this build, I have been obsessed. As you guys that have been tuning into the channel for a while now will know, I love Kylo Ren, and this would certainly be a centerpiece for my Kylo collection series. Which, whilst I'm at it, I'll mention will hopefully be returning before the end of the year. Don't expect to see this build in that episode though. Hopefully next year I may be able to start collecting parts together to build this myself. Maybe. At number 4 we head over to Britvolt for the perfect tie advance by creator Jerick. This awesome minifig scale representation of Darth Vader's tie is just seamless. The incredible detail achieved on such a small build just looks amazing to me. I love that the wings are brick built instead of constructed from plates like Lego's versions. I think it makes for a much more sleeker looking model. This might just be the first mock I build for my minifig scale Imperial Army, as the leader needs his own personal fighter, right? Breaking into the top 3 now, and we have another integral build for my Imperial Army. It's Rich Boy J's 8080 Walker. I love this model a lot, and in my eyes it's the best minifig scale iteration of the truly iconic 4 legged walker. Rich Boy J is a huge inspiration to me when it comes to building mocks, and to have one of his builds of my own would feel really cool to me. The whopping piece count of 6,195 pieces is a little intimidating, I'm not going to lie, but I think it will be well worth it in the end. The detail and accuracy he has achieved with this mock is exquisite, so much so that I think if you look at it from afar you could hardly tell it was Lego. One thing I will say though, it ain't going to be fun army building this one. Just missing out on the top spot of this list is the TIE Striker by Lightsaber Productions. This 1264 piece mock is so incredibly detailed and fits the same style as Jarek's TIE Fighter collection, which is important for me when it comes to continuity. Possibly the best part of my favourite TIE Fighter from the original trilogy era is how the stacked bricks and plates all come together to look like different panels. It's that kind of detail that sets this model apart from the others in my eyes. A fantastic build for sure, and one I'd love to maybe build a few of over the coming years. Now I'm just as shocked as you that not one prequel build has made it into the top 5 of this list, but as I like to chuck in a couple of honourable mentions to these lists, I figured I'd feature some here. The first of the two Separatist vehicles is Star Wars Fan 66's Separatist Transport Shuttle. Oh, try saying that really fast. Trying to achieve the curves on a ship like this in LEGO was always going to be tricky, but Star Wars Fan 66 has done a great job with a decent 1,933 pieces. They've also built a version seen in the Clone Wars with the elongated middle for cargo, which would be awesome for an entrance to the Citadel mock, which is an idea I've been toying with for the future. The other mock just missing out on a top 5 spot on this list is the MTT by Eric Nathan 811 from Rebrickable, containing 1724 pieces. One of my most wanted LEGO sets is the 2007 MTT, and seeing as I don't have any versions for my droid army, this would be a beautiful addition. I much prefer the dark blue colour scheme of this one, as it fits in with all the other droid vehicles. Every time I look at this mock, I like it more and more and more. This would for sure be a fantastic centerpiece for the army, so it might just become a must buy in the new year. Sitting at the peak of my top 5 most wanted LEGO Star Wars mock builds is Edge of Bricks TIE Whisper. I didn't realise until comprising this list just how much of a fan of TIE Fights I am, but there we go. Now I know I said I like the sleekness of the brick built wings on the previous TIE Fighters in this list, but there is something about the mixture of both tiles and studs on this set that I absolutely adore. With 940 pieces it's most definitely a reasonable entry for a first time mock builder and will be an awesome addition to my Kylo collection, especially considering this isn't a set LEGO has created or looks like will be creating anytime soon. 
my favourite scene in the sequels by far, and possibly even in the entirety of Star Wars, is when Kylo Ren is flying his TIE Whisper across the sand and Rey performs that insane jump and slashes the wing. The sound effects and the way that is shot is just stunning and I would definitely be recreating that in LEGO once I have this built. So that's going to do it for my top 5 most wanted LEGO Star Wars mocks. Is there any builds on this list that you guys have built or want to Is there any builds on this list that you Is there any builds on this list that you guys have built or want to in the future or have my choices failed to impress? Let me know. And if you've enjoyed this video then consider dropping a like too. I'll leave a list of links to the mocks in the description if you'd like to check them out and purchase the instructions yourself. I'm Thomas, this is Tech Productions, thanks guys, see you next time. Oh, before you go, if you've enjoyed this video, how about clicking that subscribe button right there, catch last week's episode of Tech Tuesday up there, or if you want to check out my other Mocktober videos, click here. See you next time.